Coach Cliff Kingsbury, the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals, has tanked the second half of the season every season he's coached college football or in the NFL. He tanked again this year. They started off 7-0 and and ended up losing four, ended up going 4-7 and the last 11. Should he retain his job? Well, I think you have to look at it from a variety of different ways, Mark. Number one, they improved from the first year to the second year. Yes, they did falter going down. I think that the question that the owners have to ask, I have an offensive coordinator, but I don't have a head coach. I think as a head coach, you can be offensive coordinator, but you still have to run the entire team. You have to have discipline, the kicking game, getting everybody to focus on it and be one team. They aren't a team because he's not a head coach. He can be, I'm sure. I'm sure he has the capability, but he hadn't learned it thus far, and that's a little bit discouraging. Coach, out of the teams left in the playoffs in the Elite Eight, which team is the most dangerous underdog? I think when you get this far, Mark, they're all very, very dangerous. Remember this, they're only two victories away from participating in the Super Bowl. And who was really an underdog? You look at the Kansas City Bills. Who's the underdog there? Uh, some people say it's the Bills, some say it's Kansas City. But I think that game will determine who's going to go to the Super Bowl. I think this is a game that should have been played is a, for the championship of the conference rather than the semifinal of it. I also think anybody can be dangerous. You look at the San Francisco, you really wouldn't give them much chance against the Packers. They're coming from uh, a beautiful climate, going down to six degrees against uh, Green Bay. Green Bay is the best football team in the country. But the, the, the 49ers have really come on strong, and their defense is playing very well. Consider this. They won last week against the Dallas Cowboys, even though Bozer, an outstanding linebacker, missed most of the fourth quarter. If they come back, yeah, they're a dangerous football team. I think you also can look at the Cincinnati Bengals. You know, it's the fact that when you have an open date, you're much healthier than normal, and that's going to be a problem for Cincinnati. However... Is uh, Derrick Henry going to come back? All indications are he's going to play in the game. How good will he be? Yeah, he's going to be fresh. He's going to have stronger legs, etc. Yet he's been away from it for a while. So there, there's no way that you can tell when you get to the semifinals like this, anything can happen. And that's why I think the TV exposure is going to be outstanding. Coach, the Pittsburgh Steelers have had Ben Roethlisberger as their head quarterback for about two decades. He's probably going to retire this season. What is the Steelers' succession plan? Should they go free agency? Should they draft and develop? Should they make a trade? Well, I think Tomlin's done a tremendous job. I don't think he's ever had a losing season. Now, is it because of Roethlisberger or is it because of Tomlin? I don't know. But Pittsburgh is not in a position to rebuild. They're in a position they like to reload. I don't think that you can go with a rookie quarterback and expect to contend for, for the conference championship there. I think Roethlisberger is an underrated quarterback. I personally believe he will continue to play. And if Pittsburgh doesn't want him, I think he'll play somewhere else. But Pittsburgh problems go much deeper than a quarterback. Their offensive line has really been woefully weak. They put pressure on Roethlisberger when he throws. They have a great running back in Harris, and he hadn't been able to get to the line of scrimmage, so to speak. In, in addition, they, these are all the problems that they have to address. I don't think their problem is quarterback right now is severely is it his wide receiver and the offensive line. 